Hello, welcome to Normal Game Couch. Uh, today I'm playing 1001 Spikes. Um, somewhat of a rarity on the show. I've never actually played this before. This is seriously my first time ever playing it. Um, I've heard about it before. I've seen it before. But since I've become interested in it, I've only seen it one time. And it was the first three levels. I think the first three levels that I saw or stages. Uh, and I, I was only kind of half paying attention because I didn't want to spoil it for myself because I was thinking I could do this on the show, do a blind play, and uh, see how far I get. No, not necessarily see how far I get, but, you know, see see how it goes. So if you've ever played uh, I Want to Be the Guy or Battle Kid, that's that's what this is, basically. My friends are kind of shy. Press up to talk to them. Stick around. They may have a lot to say. X to jump. Uh, square or circle to attack. Triangle to high jump. Okay, so I have two different jumps here. I have a, a short jump and a high jump. X is for a short jump. Jump up to one block. Alright. Press triangle to jump high. Alright, so triangle takes care of two blocks. That's a two two block height. And uh, X is a one block height. I know there's something around here that's going to try to kill me. Get the key and exit the door at each level. Simple, yeah? Alrighty, move right along. Okay, got the key. Try a high jump at the edge of the cliff above. Watch out for the hole below, though. Yeah, I got you. So many spikes, so much death. Be careful, watch your step. I'm guessing I can't touch that skull. Just out of reach, those golden skulls. Oh, maybe I can. It's supposed to be good if you have a lot of those. So that's first of what's sure to be many deaths in this game. But that's by design. It's meant to be like that. Yeah, better to move on if you can't get those skulls. You can try again any time from the stage select later on. Alright, this is where it starts getting uh, tricky. Watch it. The statues spit poisonous spikes. Time your jumps carefully. You can shoot darts with your own weapon if you're quick. I really need that text to get off the screen right now.
Okay, so there's a guy throwing spikes down there. There are statue types that react to you and suddenly activate. Remember to keep that in mind. Alright, gotta grab that key without getting hit by those spikes. Oh, hi there. Walk. Sleep. A Metal Gear reference there. Ah, gotta test the waters here. Be aware, don't let your guard down. That block to the left is gonna fall down when I jump up. Oh, it stayed. I made it. All right, now I did watch uh, uh, some levels on the um, on YouTube before I bought this game to make sure it would be something that I wanted. That's all I saw. After this, it's completely new to me. Uh, square or circle attack. You can have limited projectiles on screen. Okay, so it looks like I can have up to three projectiles on screen. Just keep going, even if it looks like a dead end. Check out those old moving platforms. there and just die again. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I was going to forget that was there. Why did I forget that was there? Alright, come on, I got this. jump up there to make it, so I gotta be quick.
So apparently the reason this is called 1001 Spikes is because you have 1001 lives. Don't let your guard down, always be on the lookout. Sounds like a, sounds like a lot of lives, but you probably start burning through them pretty quick. is probably going to go to. And that one. I'm not going to go for that skull. It's too dangerous. Ah, I just screwed up. If you're stuck, open the menu with options and retry. I wonder if that counts as a life. Alright, this one's all about speed here. Mm. What's gonna kill me here? It's good to carefully scout complicated traps from a safe area. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I think I know. I think I know what I have to do here. I might we tap it? Alright, remember what you went through. You're not on your own, buddy. Whoa. That was a close one. Yeah, I bet, man. <laughs> the Elder spoke about a time with no checkpoints. He said, the harder the journey, the greater the joy of success. Apparently, that used to be the way it was. Whatever. No checkpoints here. <laughs> I'm super nervous. Through that door is Ucampa Ruins. Are you ready? Last chance to go home, otherwise prepare yourself for a world of pain. Even here I feel like stuff is just gonna kill me. Father is missing, return immediately, Tina. It was shortly after I had completed my task in Istanbul that I received this irritating news as a sign of things to come. He had earned a fortune as a young explorer and later became a successful entrepreneur. Nevertheless, he still yearned for adventure and eventually he gave in to his wanderlust and something something. My father was selfish and didn't care about the impact his reckless actions had on the people who cared about him. After a number of arguments, he suddenly decided that he would leave his estate and his entire fortune to my sister. I was young and level-headed, but this decision pushed me over the edge. He was being completely unreasonable, yet he refused to listen to anyone. I've earned fortune all on my own, and if you were a real man, you'd do the same. You don't deserve a single cent from me. That's what he said. But much of the world's treasures have been discovered by the older generations. The great treasure islands are just myths. If 
eventually I moved out and used my young, healthy body to engage in some shady jobs. I've noticed several months have passed. Doing some shady jobs. The outskirts of Bristol, England, Jim Hawkins Memorial Museum. Paulette Island? I've never heard of that before. Where is it? It's located in the Antarctic. The Antarctic? Yeah, I tried to stop him, but what? What an imbecile. Doing such stu stupid stuff at his old age. Apparently, he had fallen into a crevasse. That idiot. The head position of the Hawkins Foundation was passed on to my sister, Tina Hawkins. Tina also became the director of the museum. She gave me something left behind by her father. So what's in this box? I'm not sure. Dad told me to give it to you if he were to die. Inside the box was a moldy old map and a letter he had written. The old man loved leaving notes behind. Hey, you blistering idiot. If you're still alive, I suggest you use this map. At least the Ucampa ruins in South America. Rumor has it there is a golden door called Poco Mum at the deepest part of the ruins. Untold treasures lie behind this door. I know you are a bonehead, so I feel I should warn you. This is no walk in the park. Many adventurers have perished at the mere sight of its traps. Even someone as great as I almost lost my life upon entering. If you really want to get in my good books, this treasure would be your best bet. Your ever-loving and generous father best wishes, you useless buffoon. <laughs> what a nuisance. Fine, I'll take your stupid offer. I don't care about that pocket monster or pumpkin mummy or whatever. I'm going to go get those treasures and throw them into your stupid grave. <laughs> a couple days later, I deeply regretted falling from my father's trap, that low-life backstabbing Weasley old slime ball. I like the writing in this game. Alright, I dig the cutscene, but let's let's get on with this here. The Temple of the Dead mourns the living. My god. Alright. It's gonna be a long road here. <laughs> oh, that guy. I was thinking he was on the lower level. Some of these blocks look like faces. Yeah. Alright, I just gotta be quick about it after that scorpion moves on.
don't really know where to go here. Nope, not Amish. <laughs> God's sakes. If I was Amish, I don't think I'd be playing a, a video game. I think they have something against using modern electronics. Forgetting about all the individual traps here. I don't know if not hitting that that one is going to bite me later. need that to get out.
Let me visualize this here. across the gaps like in Mario. I think I might need to wait for that third block to start falling and then jump off of it. It's not falling. Maybe I'll taunt the block down. There we go. Ah. The scorpions go pretty aggro, so gotta be careful here. Something's going to break. jump down and start attacking that uh, scorpion too early he'd uh, he'd fall into that pit with me Great. Ah. Man, this game tests your uh, reflexes. That's gonna spit a spike at me. Yep.
I have no idea where I meant to go on this one. So you gotta go across the top to get the key, probably, and then come back on the bottom to go through the door. gonna kill me. See where that's going. could bring one of these oh crap if i could bring one of these blocks up with me ah should have saw that one coming should have waited for for my moment Thank you. 
must be missing something. I mean, do I just like... There's no way I can just run this and make it. This is where it starts becoming less of a action game and more of a puzzle game. There's got to be a breakable block somewhere. Now I'm making stupid mistakes. I'm I'm worried too much about what's ahead. something I'm missing here. I really feel like I like I have to get another one of these sliding blocks up to the top somehow. That's that's the only way through a, a narrow passage like that. Something pushed me up there. Maybe it was spikes that killed me. I don't know. It kind of happened too fast and unexpectedly. I think I might be onto something though. be on to something. Mm. Yeah, I guess it was just a uh, spear that got me. Maybe I can... Maybe if I survive long enough up there... Hold on.
So yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something. I just have to try to figure out what it is. I'm trying to think of anything, any different ways I might approach this. it doesn't work. Aha! Uh -huh. I just figured it out. I can attack his projectiles. See? I didn't know anything about that. bit like uh, Shinya Reno right now, playing Mighty Bomb Jack. Gotta wait for this uh, timing. I'm getting there, figuring it out. Gonna wait for this to be timed right. game didn't think so. Speed is the key with that one. You gotta get through those spikes. Both at the same time.
lost the timing on that one. See, now that one shooting to the right over there, that's time. That has nothing to do with my proximity. So I gotta time my descent into the next row, too. There's so much to look at. I'm dialing it in. I'm definitely dialing it in. These, these flames to be timed right. Ah, wrong button. So much to pay attention to in this game. I feel like 
these uh, mechanics are slowly um, uh, ingraining themselves in me. I'm definitely dialing it in though. great to have uh, someone come over and uh, hot swap the controller on this game, do like a co-op episode. It'd be a lot of fun. Study this before I jump down in it. Oh. last time, or the time before last time. Thank you. 
Alright. I gotta study this now before I jump down into it. See, the timing is off now. I don't know why the timing is off like that. I feel like those platforms on the bottom are gonna start falling too. Yep. Alright. I want to end on a high note, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call that the episode. Thanks for watching Normal Game Couch. See you next time.